Speedy thing go in the hole. Speedy thing go out of the hole. There's lots of things going in holes this week. This is, we're, we're throwing chairs at Portarius. Portarius. <laughs> Portapodius. It's developed by uh, Dmitry Poznikov. And um, it's done on the Cocos 2D-X engine. You can pick it up for around five of your local wet stinky currencies. What is it? Open up a portal and begin your journey. Teleport rocks, water, and your spaceship. Uh, immense ha- uh, immerse oh, in handcrafted <laughs> worlds. Solve puzzles and be the first at the center of the earth. Immense and handcrafted puzzles. Yes. Uh, the devs did send us some keys, so thank you, Dimitri, for that. This is Check Position. This is where we take a game, do a little bit of uh, quality assurance, maybe talk about it, do a review, and tell you what we thought of it. Boingy, boingy, boingy. <laughs> it's kind of hypnotic watching the footage if you're listening to this to, in audio. It, uh, it it goes to some places. Anyways, Chair Acquisition works in a brand new way. We break things down. Uh, you get one of four chairs for the functional category. Does it launch performance graphics control? And then we'll give an ar- more arbitrary rating based on what we feel, the fun facts and feels. That's how it goes. Let's burn through this real quick. Uh, then does it launch on Ubuntu? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, three operating systems we're going to be doing for the audio listeners. I'm on Ubuntu. Jordan is Fedora. And Pedro is Solus. If you're playing the home game, does it launch? Now, I'm running on the Ryzen 1700, um, 1804 LTS, 16 gigajoules of RAM with a 980. Yeah, it launches. Not a problem with it. Uh, it does full screen windowed mode. That's really your only two options you have. Uh, when it comes to QA, if you're going to run into an issue, which I did, is it will peg and hang one single core at 100% just straight up freeze if you alt tab when you're inside of a level. If you're at the loading screen, menu screen, not a problem. You alt tab inside a level, you got to check something. Uh, you're not getting back into the game. I mean, you're going to have to force close that window. Uh, nothing to subtract any points on that. But one thing I will bring up, you basically got two options. You got one thing to maximize full screen. One thing to put it in a window where you can set the resolution of your choice. And uh, you can cut the sound on and off. That, that's pretty much it here in Ubuntu land. How's it going in Fedora? Yeah, um, it launches. It definitely does on uh, Fedora 28. Uh, the alt-tab thing is real. Though I found it's not 100% reliable. It's if you alt-tab and then you wait a little bit and then come back to it, mm. then it will freeze. If you like alt-tab out for like, I think the longest I got it for was like under 30 seconds, you're 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 in the clear. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, the, uh, the I'm not sure how I feel about like the lack of resolution options when you can just resize the window. I guess like, make it clear in the UI. Otherwise you're like, uh, okay, what's what's happening? You gotta mm. make an educated guess. Well, what about this? Maybe you don't want to run it like us, uh, both of, all three of us now have UHD mm-hmm. 30, 40, 20, 160. Maybe you want to play it in 1080 full screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, though to, to be, to be fair, um, there's not a lot of graphically demanding stuff here. And I doubt it's, I, I doubt it's actually uh, rendering in UHD at, at best. It's probably upscale 1080. Um, Yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll give it a, I'll give it a, a launchy bits on the, uh, on the Fedora. Uh, Pedro, how's, how's it looking on Solus? Well, uh, it launches and it was getting a, uh, green chair with a tick box over it until I got to the fifth stage, uh, the fifth level of the second stage at which point it crashes reliably. So yeah, it launches, but it doesn't stay launched for very long once you get to that point. Uh, it also forgets, uh, if you alternate between full screen and windowed it forgets and just defaults back to full screen at least did on my end until i found the settings uh file and edited it uh everything else was fine the controls were very clearly made for a touch screen but they work as expected and the physics tend to break sometimes you'll shoot yourself or some boulders through bits of the map that were supposed to be solid but mm-hmm. they're really not it's got some funkery yeah. to it but i'm going yeah. to say no here, uh, straight down the list for it ran. The controls work for what they are. Don't worry about I mean, the yeah, section. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You click on shit. That that's the extent of the controls. And really, yeah. I didn't see any graphical fuckery along that. So a clean bill of health uh, on the Ubuntu. Uh, Fedora. Like like likewise on Fedora. Yeah. Uh, Solus gets Solus uh, is crashing. <laughs> all right. Fun section. Here's the here here's here's the meat of the review. So. Did you have fun, guys? Here's the thing, man. This is kind of the catch-all segment. Now, this is the opinion, because we've told you 
best we can on our operating systems of choice, whether or not it launched, and what you can expect before burning a refund on Steam. Now let's talk about whether or not we liked it. And if you're listening, think about uh, Portal Bridge Constructor without any of the fucking charm, graphical fidelity, or fun. Yeah, you know where this is going. Because this this is not how portals work. This you, you can shoot one portal and it'll alternate to the other color. Right there, you're seeing a problem because that's just not how portals work, Brad. If you're going to copy like the Running Man logo, which is something that you seem like, hey, that's kind of elvish. Where'd you get that? If you're going to copy that shit, you might as well like yoink the left and right portal excretion mechanic because that's how portals are done and that's how they've always been done. And that's how your brain is wired. Not like this. This makes sense on a touchscreen to do this interface, but I couldn't find this game on a mobile store anywhere. So I'm like, what the hell's going on? Um... Clearly designed for touchscreen. Uh, unfortunately, that does make dragging your gerbil back and forwards, left and right, especially across 3840 by 2160 of real estate, fucking tiresome. It does. You know, I gave this critter about 50 minutes uh, to charm the fuck out of me, and it didn't. It failed. It failed hard. Because if you're going to do a physics game, it's something I think everyone's going to talk about. You might want to nail down the physics bit before you ship it out. And... You know, we have physics games like golf with your friends. That's just nightmare fuel, but it's fun nightmare fuel. That's part of the charm of it. It's this, not fun at all. No, what are you talking about? No. You fucking crazy it, person. Sometimes I think Jordan will talk more to it. You can just wait a fucking map out and beat it, which it's not a good thing. So six ninety nine for something that's definitely geared as a mobile game is a bit much to ask. So, yeah, for the fun segment, I'm going to give this one share, and that's a big hard nope. Yeah, so my roommate walked in while I was playing this game, and he, and he asked me what, what it was. And the best explanation I could come up with was, like, imagine if someone tried to remake Portal, but, like, didn't want to commit any effort to it. You would you would get this. Well, I can't say this is lazy, man. I mean, look at I mean, you look at the backgrounds. You can tell some work went. No, no, no. Like, yeah, cl- cl- yeah, cl- clearly, clearly there, there's some effort into, like, the, the aesthetic. The gameplay, though, yeah, the, the actual thing that you interact with, the, the mechanical subsystems mm-hmm. that define whether or not you are successful or not, are garbage. Um, forcing the biggest problem, like Ben said, forcing me to alternate portals is the biggest misstep you could have done in this game. Um, the, the the fact that like if you're trying to do stuff, you have to like you have to like syncopate your your portal generation. And mm-hmm. make sure that you hit the same spot as before is it just create it's time consuming can i ask you a question what how long i mean did did anyone else this goes to both of you did you resort to spray and pray i've done that a couple times just mm-hmm. just yeah, like on the early levels especially yeah <laughs> yeah and 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 that's 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 the thing too like the 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 the, the core design of this game is is fundamentally flawed like Perhaps, perhaps if they gave me uh, the ability to switch with portal I'm shooting, it mm-hmm. might have been a little better. Um, and yeah, to, to to Ven's earlier point, absolutely, you can wait games out. You can wait levels out. The, there, there is there is definitely an RNG spray and pray element to this game because you'll build up momentum. Maybe, maybe you'll hit something in a weird way, and eventually, eventually, you'll figure out that if you just kind of stay in this spot and wait it out, eventually, you'll just go in the hole. As, as we say in Rocket League, you put the ball in the hole and, and and eventually you'll win. And that's, again, that's not good game design. That's just waiting. It's artificially increasing length and difficulty. And that that's it. A lot of these puzzles aren't even particularly difficult. It's just the limitation of the core mechanic makes it tedious and time consuming to figure out the exact combination of clicks. And that's not fun to me. Um, I mean, say, say what you will about this being a mobile game. I mean, it's not... A very good one, but at least I'd say it's about on par with what you would expect in the Play Store. I'm I'm gonna give that one share. I'm I'm not digging this at all. Yeah, no, it's I like puzzle games. I do, and this one doesn't really do it for me. It's it's got the spray and pray element to it. It's trial and error. It's the best puzzle games, in my opinion, are are those where they. I've used this analogy before, but it's literally the game developer handing you a gun and some bullets and watching you shoot yourself in the foot repeatedly. Two, 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 you... really, two really good examples of that. Steven Sauce's role and yeah. the bridge. The bridge gives mm-hmm. you the obvious solution and then laughs at you as you fail miserably implementing it. Precisely. And that's the mark of a really good puzzle game. This, this is 
pray and spray bullshit. It's not. Well, Pedro, can I ask you a question? Is is this a case of, uh, for me, I felt this was more of a case of like, I know how to solve the fucking puzzle, but the mechanics just won't, they're making it, you know, you shouldn't have to fight the game to get what you. Yeah. And that is certainly part of it. And when you see portals uh, like this, you expect, oh, portals. Okay. So uh, momentum is conserved through the portal. Speedy thing comes in, speedy thing comes out, except in this game. Slow thing comes in, speedy thing comes out because the portals propel you for some reason. And uh, I, I, got, I got another question. Do you ever notice that like the mouse clicks and the portal firing are a little out of sync? Uh, very much out of sync. Yes, you, you ke- that's why I keep missing most of those. It's like unless I'm stopped and I have the time to aim properly, it's just going all over the place. And 15 levels in, the game just starts crashing for me. I, I, w- I didn't even mind this being, you know, a mobile game and being clearly designed for a touchscreen. I was okay with that. It's the game crashes and it's not fun. It's well, one chair know, for me. I, I'm digging that, man. Um, that's pretty much Jordan. What, what did you say? You never filled out a fun section. I did. I did. Uh, no. Oh, fun score. I, oh, that was, that was a one chair. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there, I, I put it. I put it in the wrong place. I put it where it used to go, not where it currently goes. Okay. Uh, there are good examples. What was the uh, little RPG game that was a mobile port that came to desktop? That was very well done. I had fun with it. Uh, the one where you did the little mining and crafting. It even had crafting in it, and I didn't completely. Yeah, uh, Crashlands. Crashlands. Mm-hmm. That I, I was like a quarter of the way through it, and there was enough elements. Like, wait a minute, is this on mobile? I went. Mm-hmm. No fucks given. After you, I was like, oh, shit. All right. This has actually been well adapted. This, I don't know where this falls. I mean, hey, man, I, I want to thank the developer for allowing us to break your game. That was um, yes. free of charge, of course. And mm-hmm. uh, I think that's going to do it for this week, Jordan. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, that's what we thought about Portarius. 